Hey everybody, it's, <laughs> oh my God, this is not a spring chick. And it must be a bad day for Obamacare because they are changing the rules again. Oh, and did you know that sign up has been extended? Meanwhile, <laughs> yes, let's bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Please. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it's what they said this morning. They said that the Democrats are rallying heavily now, that the Republicans now are, they said that it, the Republicans end up with, it could end up with a net loss on the, um, on the Senate seats because uh, the people are, you know, they said Obamacare is working better than anyone could imagine. Uh-oh. Flea Obama said they just changed the rules again today. They said the country is growing at a rate far better than predicted. It's growing less than 2%. Uh, they said the unemployed are not, they said, oh, less than 10 less than 10 percent of the people that are have been on long-term unemployed are even looking for jobs and and so i don't think the republicans can lose when they got as many issues that they can run they said the pro oh, you know Cleo Obama said that left really actually believes these things are true mm -hmm. yeah. and um, japan's biggest slum not on maps or in film fast I know, they're running a film festival in the city, and it's not listed, um, the, basically it is off all of the maps that, are, that you can find on the internet and everything, because they don't actually print maps up anymore in, in a lot of countries, you got to use your cell phone and stuff, mm -hmm. and you can't find uh, large areas of the city, because they're, <coughs> they don't want people going to them, especially film makers so at the film festival, oh. they, just, they just remove them from the maps, which basically should be illegal. Wow. Yeah. I hadn't even thought about I mean, But that's what, oh, you know what Flea Obama said? That's what these foreign countries can do if they just, if Obama gives them control of the internet. They can just simply oh. decide, you know, if they don't like your country, they can remove it. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of, it's like he hadn't even thought about something like that. It's, it's just another, another version of censorship. Yeah, it is. And White House watching Russian troop movements with skepticism. Russians aren't moving, Russians, okay, here it is, they have troops alongside the Balkans, they have troops alongside of Moldavia, which is part of Greece, they have troops all over the place ready, uh, because as, as Obama is threatening them, well, we're unifying, well, their unification was, we're going to continue to do business with them, and, but uh, we're going to sanction 20 of their oligarchs, so that they can't come to our countries and spend their money in our countries anymore. Oh, oh, Flea Obama said, oh God, that's really frightening that they can't go to any of those. Well, we know how much they like those countries. Uh, here's a good thing. Did you realize that you can find anything in the world that is made in the United States setting in Peking? Or if you say you wanted to go to Istanbul, you could find it. Mm. Or if you wanted to go to Tehran, you could find it. There's no difference. This is not the world that existed in the, when the Munich Accord was signed. This is a world that basically people have the same stuff all over the universe now. And New Jersey teen and education cost suit returns home lawyer. Yeah, that's that female that basically, she left home and demanded that her parents pay her college education and all her bills and stuff. Well, people, Bill O'Reilly was incensed. We know there's a dysfunctional family and they have to have an interaction, an intersection done for them to bring this family together because he, he was blaming him and Megan Kelly they're blaming the parents for causing a problem. Parents had nothing to do with the problem. It was a little bit, it just seemed like the female was a little, she was a rich, spoiled brat. Yeah, and that happens a lot. Then she demands that her parents pay. Like, that's how it is. I mean, the way it works is that um, your kids can sue you for virtually anything today. They've been doing it for a few years now. And the Tea Party plays defense. No, they're okay. The Republicans cannot win without their support, yet the Republicans are basically throwing the Tea Party out. It's like they're throwing the baby out with a dishwasher because, well, the Tea Party basically doesn't have our, uh, the same viewpoints that we do on. Well, the Tea Party is composed of people across the spectrum that are fed up with politicians spending money. It, mostly it's all got to do. Certainly you have social loonies. But the social loonies on the Tea Party are such a small amount of people, you can't even statistically measure them. But, well, we, these people are radical. Okay, here it is. 
The Tea Party knows, you're, the Republicans know they're never going to win a seat in Chicago, Illinois for the Congress of the United States. It's like a Democratic seat per, in perpetuality. So they just let somebody run that had the money to pay for the thing themselves, and that person will, you know, uh, earthquakes all over the world are because of homosexual rights. Mm -hmm. She's not going to win, but she's spending her own money to lose. Mm -hmm. So, but the Democrats, this is typical of them. No. If you're never going to win, okay, there are seats the Democrats do not even challenge except for somebody that's basically a fringe left person that can dip into his own wallet. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. And Democrats leap into action after Nate Silver drags the Senate too far into panic territory. Well, yeah, because now they're planning, they're expecting to, to, to not only uh, not lose those seats, which everyone knows they're going to lose because they all supported Obamacare, mm. but they're going to take, they're going to get a gain, a super majority in the Senate, which is impossible because virtually all the seats that are up are Democrats. Mm. So, uh, Flea Obama said, um, they said, we already know, we basically saw that yesterday, that one person is saying, oh, here's how hell it is. Did you know six times eight plus five and one uh, uh, it, 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 48? Mm. That's not by my mm. calculation. But they said that's how they figure that if you control 90% of the seats up for re-election and you don't lose any, you're going to have a supermajority, which takes you, you have to win 11 more seats than are available to be won. Mm -hmm. Oh well. And Kansas, Arizona laws requiring voters to prove citizenship upheld. Uh, you're supposed to so prove that you live in the area, and you can do it. All you got to do is to have, a, they, they'll accept telephone bills, trash collection bills, things like that in order to vote. That's not, but they said, well, it's basically, it's a thing to keep minorities. They said, do minorities buy gas? Yeah. Do minorities use credit cards? Yes. Do minorities have phone bills? Yes. All of these things which are expected of non-minorities to vote, Mm -hmm. Are not they said? Well, they're basically trying to prevent them from voting. Well, no, no. because people on welfare have all of those things. Mm -hmm. You have a welfare thing that says you're you you are a citizen of the area to have a welfare card. Well, you can't have food stamps. Aren't they that. supposed to be a citizenship citizen of that area to vote anyway? Yeah, so, but the Democrats they want they the only way they can win. Okay, they won the last election. Uh, by having people, undocumented aliens, voting in the election. I mean, I know that. I mean, I, 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 my father said once in, in Los Angeles, they, uh, he, he found a guy with 45 voting chips on him when they arrested him. 45 voting? He had voting? voted 45 different times. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, they, they got like $5 every time they voted and a, and a, and a bottle of alcohol and... Did he have 45 bottles of alcohol on yeah, him, too? He basically had 45, <laughs> and he was selling the alcohol also. He got lots of money. But that's how easy it is. They just say, you, here's what here's the scam is. You go in and say, hi, Joe. And the guy said, oh, you know, you, you know, we got the same name, don't we? And he said, yeah. And that's how easy it is. They then give him a slip with the name on it, and he goes and registers. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's 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 Chicago style politics. Somebody from a graveyard is voting. Um, world faces water energy crisis. The UN. Yeah, and uh, the only way they're going to be able to fix the problem is they're going to have to find the United States and Germany and Great Britain because they caused the problem. The United States is expected to pay two to three trillion dollars to help solve the problem we caused, even though the problem is so bad in India and in China and in Brazil that are not third world countries, that you basically can't see, uh, you know, it, just like a, uh, you're being fogged out, a Thule fog in, in a San Joaquin Valley. You can't see in front of your automobile when you're driving. That's, that's those, those major cities in those countries. Mm -hmm. And experimental drugs offer new hope for patients fighting melanoma. Ah. But they're not covered under Obamacare. You have to pay for them personally, where insurance companies used to pay for those things. Mm. And a Monty bubble is in from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Oh, here's a good one. That no one you know, gracefully gets older. They fight it every inch of the way. Mm.